I think one of the best moments in Portal is entering into Gladys' chamber and being presented with these really fun puzzles, you know? A bunch of cores slowly falling off of her, and this turret here shooting these two cores out one by one and incinerating them while she slowly kills you with Neurotoxin. It really is an amazing experience, but you see, the problem is this all takes place inside of the 20 second map of the game, and pretty much every element of this map is imminently breakable. You see, to start with, up here we have a turret chamber, you see, but as with most of Valve's games, it's pretty much optional whether or not you want to do it, because uh, for some reason they thought it prudent to ensure that uh, this this uh, portal up here would already be diagonal, even when the map didn't call for that. So if I just go back to the beginning, you'll be able to see that I can pretty much abuse that to skip this entire section of the map, you know. There's no need to fight all these turrets when, you know, I can just put a portal up here, hop on down and skip the entire thing. And I mean, that doesn't just end there, because up next we have a fun section over here where I can trigger to fight a bunch of turrets and try and fly up. But you see, Valve designed this section as well, so if I just walk off the edge here and fall straight into this portal, I can just fly up towards the end of the map and just pretty much skip all of that and head just straight towards Gladys' chamber. But you see, the thing with that is that now I still have a portal around those turrets, and when they were programming GLaDOS, they thought, well, we could program it so every time she gets hit by a flying missile, she takes damage and loses a core. Or, well, since they can't really get anything other than those, we'll just make it so any time she takes damage, she loses a core. So you see, I can just get her to take damage a little bit with this turret, and there goes a core. One more time. There goes a core, one more time, there goes a core, you can see them flying off, literally, just ruins the game. And as soon as I walk in here, she starts to tell me I found her, you can already just start to gather them all up, honestly. It's pretty easy at this point just to beat the game before she's even finished speaking, you know. She, she pretty much has to give me her last core, but apart from that I'm pretty much just waiting on her to, to finish this speech so we can just murder her. I mean, honestly... I don't know why Valve thinks they're qualified to make games, they really ought to be banned at this point. I mean, there you go, there's the last core, all found in about 30 seconds altogether. And at this point we can just head over here and incinerate them all at once. I mean, in reality, it's there's not much point in doing it the other way. This is the way I did it on my first playthrough, it's the most obvious way, you know, I mean... And there we go, it's that simple, and we're done. Oops.